Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day, and it's a spicy one. So we have the indefinite integral of, this is the square root of x, underneath that is the cube root of x, and then the fourth root of x, fifth root of x, a bunch of nested radicals, and this goes on forever, dot, 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 dx. So go ahead, pause the video if you want to try it on your own. My hint to you is that you need to figure out a clever way to rewrite the integrand, and there's no advanced integration techniques required, okay? So a Calc 2 student should be able to do this. Um, I'm gonna review a little bit about laws of exponents first, and then I'll show you the solution. So remember, if you have something like the square root of the cube root of x, and you wanna rewrite that using rational exponents, this is the same as having x to the 1 third raised to the 1 half power. And then you would multiply those exponents, so this would end up being x to the 1 sixth. So this is precisely what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna rewrite the integrand using rational exponents. So this right here, this x is only underneath the square root sign, so that's just x to the 1 half. And then that's gonna be multiplied by, now look here, this is cube root of x, but it's also underneath the square root, so that would be x to the 1 sixth. And then same thing here, this fourth root of x is also underneath the cube root and the square root. So it would be x raised to the 1 divided by 2 times 3 times 4, which is 24. Similarly, this fifth root of x is also underneath the fourth root, the cube root, and the square root. So that would be x to the 1 divided by 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, which is 120, and then so on and so forth, dot, 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 dot. Okay, are you good up to here? Now we can simplify further. Notice all of these bases are the same, so when we simplify, we can add all the exponents together. So I can rewrite this now as x to the 1 half plus 1 sixth plus 1 over 24, plus 1 over 120, plus dot, 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 all right? Now, the key in solving this problem is figuring out how to rewrite this infinite series in the exponent in a way that allows us to evaluate the antiderivative. And I'm going to ask you to recall your Maclaurin series, in particular, e to the x. Do you remember e to the x? It's the sum n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. And let's list out the first few terms. So if n is 0, the first term is 1. If n is 1, the next term is x. Then you have x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial, so on and so forth. And if we go ahead and let x equal 1, then that means e to the first is going to be, I'm just going to skip to this expanded version. If x is 1, we'd have 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial, et cetera, et cetera. And then hopefully now you're noticing, oh, wait a minute. That's precisely what I have in the exponent here. It's just the exponent doesn't have these first two terms, 1 plus 1. So that's not a problem. Then I can say, well, e minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial, 1 over 4 factorial, et cetera, et cetera. Right? This is 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, 5 factorial. So... At long last, we can just rewrite the entire integrand as x raised to the, this is all e minus 2, e minus 2. So let's summarize for the people. So we have indefinite integral x to the e minus 2 dx. How are we doing? Whew, the worst is definitely over because now e minus 2, that's just some constant. 
So you just apply your normal rules. When we're taking an antiderivative, we add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So if I add one, my new exponent's gonna be e minus one, divide by that new exponent, and then don't forget your plus c. A couple people did, and then they didn't win that round during the integration b. That's where I got this question. So hope you enjoyed it. Did you get it right? Um, using Maclaurin series or infinite series to help you evaluate integrals is a very common topic that's covered in calculus too. This one was like more spicy than typical, but I really, really loved it. I hope you guys liked it as well. And if you need to review Maclaurin series, infinite series, I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel, Sequences and Series, so check it out. Also, just go to the Calc 2 video lectures if you need to refresh anything. But don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below, were you able to solve it on your own? Did you like it? <laughs> I hope so. And I will be back sooner than later. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V. Thank you guys so much for your support. Love you all. Bye.